Hey guys, we got an upgraded light for the dining room table. Today we're going to replace that. We're going to start off by putting together the new light and then we'll show the process of replacing that. Okay, so we need to assemble all the pieces. It has directions. There's not a lot of steps to take, so I'm going to do some measuring before I start putting it together and that way we can set up the chain and the mount at the right length before we put it up. Okay, so as I'm setting this up, I'm going to put the base in place of where we'll go the two pipes and then this is the amount of chain that's going to go in between there i just have it kind of preset we'll cut that chain off and the wire will come from the end here and go through there and come out the top and that's where we'll wire it into the ceiling so that, however you want to do it if you don't cut it you can reuse it again later so then once you spread that link it gives us a lot of extra if we change our mind or we want to do it differently, we're starting off this one with just three links in between and then these are just a turn turnbuckle style link. So you can turn that up and assemble it back together. This one's already up. So when you get the wire through the top side, you can now start it on the base. And we'll put the base on here and then we'll put on the next section of cable there so the same thing you can see the wire in there just take a little screwdriver kind of work that up we'll slide that there pull that cable up and we'll start the second portion of the assembly and the final, we'll take the cord, we'll put it through this piece of the chain, and then we'll loop it through the chain, kind of in a pattern, so you don't really see it too much, like so. Okay, so we got the bottom set up. The two rods, wire ran through it. And then basically, we're going to get this ready for our installation. This will... So we'll remove this cover. This piece. It's like this nut. And that cap. And here's your three main wires. It's already grounded, so we'll just have to do two. So we're only have to attach the two wires in each one. So basically it looks that these just slide over. So we can kind of take these off for now. And then we'll loosen the nut here and it's got a lock washer on it. And then we'll drop the wires in the hole there. So it comes with a little wrench for tightening these up. I just grabbed a 14 millimeter deep socket. You can probably use the shallow as well, but uh, I'm just gonna slide over the wires. That way I can get I can get it a little tighter than I can with the wrench this way, just by twisting that. And they can still move for adjustment a little bit. We'll see.
So this is the light we're replacing. I'm gonna go turn the breaker off to it and then we're gonna unhook that from the power source. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do Take that loose, and then we're going to come in here. We cut the breaker to this, so we'll unhook the common ground. We'll take the ground off, the white's the common. And the black is the power. three wires at that point they had it just straight wired to it you can do that as well What we'll do is we'll kind of loop it up in the hole, like so. So our cover will fit nice and clean. 